something I see a lot when people try and bakasana is this kind of thing, just lifting their feet up like that. Forget doing that. Instead, think about traveling forward. So from your center, just moving straight forward. And as you travel forward, then the feet will naturally counterlever up. And a good thing to do is to actually look slightly forward as well, rather than between the legs, because um, then you'll roll equally. Another great debate is knee position. So you can have you, I, I go knees more to the outside and having a squeezing in effect. People do also go straight onto tr the triceps there. I have seen bruises from people doing bakasana, so it's up to you. There's um, nothing illegal, but um, probably going straight onto the triceps like this is a little more challenging. But getting the knee as high up into the underarm as you can is really helpful. Yogis don't do many back rounded positions, but this bakasana is definitely one where you want to get a feeling of rounding through the back. And in that way, you'll access more core. So you wouldn't want to do bakasana with a, a straight spine, but rather you want that rounded shape. And that will really help to um, engage the core and make the knees lighter on the arms and therefore less strain in the wrists If you've nailed well. all that, then you can work towards um, straightening the arms up. So starting out maybe just like here, but then gradually working towards having more the arms in a straight position. So this is um, a bit more challenging for women, especially because we've got the uh, generally more voluptuous hips and smaller shoulders, whereas guys have the opposite. So you've got the stronger shoulders and um, smaller hips. So it's going to make the, the shape far more compact for you guys.